Welcome back, Mushroom Man Toad here, and I may be a few days late, but whatever, because today we're talking fireworks. So as you saw there, I have perpetually going fireworks, and this can be done using command blocks, but if you've ever messed with fireworks and this kind of thing, this can get a little complicated. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make a fireworks machine that runs forever. So in my opinion, this process should start where all fireworks start, and that is on the crafting table. You craft yourself up some fireworks stars using whatever ingredients you want, and then some firework rockets using, again, however much gunpowder and whatever firework stars you want. Uh, more information on this in the Minecraft wiki, and that's linked in the description. But let's say you've come up with a, this really, really awesome firework that's got all this kind of stuff on it. And you want to make that fly forever, right? You just you don't want to just stick this in a dispenser and have it, you know, launch off three times and then... Yay, that was fun. And then... Nope, you're done. You just burned all your fireworks. I mean, in survival mode, that's one thing. But this is creative mode. I, I want to be able to use my fireworks, dang it. So this... This is the simplest way for you to take a crafted firework you have and make it fire off forever. So first of all, you have to figure out what your firework is. And I find the easiest way to do this, since you'll already be using a dispenser, just place a dispenser and then go slash data get block, tab, tab, tab in those coordinates. And that's all you really need to do because then you'll see here, we get what looks really, really complicated and is actually pretty simple. And I'll show you why. All this does is, you know, you got the coordinate of the block, and then this is the part we care about is the items. You got slot, you've got what the item is, and then you've got the tag. And this tag is everything that there is to know about the firework. So although it looks like a lot, it's actually really, really easy to replicate this. And yes, you will have to type it out by hand, which stinks. But you know, once you've got it, it's, it's pretty simple. So I'm actually going to put the whole command that I'm using on screen. But I'm just going to show you how you'd work that out. So what I like to do is I like to take this, take a screenshot of it using whatever screenshot program you like to use, and just paste it somewhere where I can see it in a separate window. So there right now off screen I have this thing and where I can see it, I know you can't see it on your screen right now, but I can see it on mine. And so I'm just going to open up the command block here then and go data merge block and then you're going to Take the coordinates of the block, in this case, that uh, negative that negative 1 tilde tilde, that's just going to target this block right here because it's negative 1 in the x direction. And then I'm just going to type out everything from that old command, from items all the way to the end of the, uh, of the items tag. And so that'll end up looking like what you can see on screen now, which looks really, really long and complicated, but really, you're just copying over what you've uh, what you found there and that after you've typed that out which really only takes one to two minutes like I have this really long one here and I'll show you this took me probably two and a half minutes to get typed out so it's really really quick really really simple and once you've typed that out then what happens here is we need to power the dispensers and the command blocks every tick and so I figured the easiest way to do this is just have some pistons spamming them so I put up you know the really really basic observer clock that just pulses once every two ticks and that'll just activate these pistons here, which will pull back the observers, push them out into the command block, so it'll run those commands where we merge the data, which will just put the uh, fireworks into this slot. And because of uh, redstone powering, it'll also power this dispenser and light off our awesome fireworks. So that is how this works. And so, to demonstrate once more... We now have fireworks that run forever. You'll see if I open up this dispenser here while those fireworks are going, this just flashes back and forth between 62 and 63. So it'll never, ever run out. And that is how you can create an infinite fireworks show in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about how you can get commands to work like this. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like and do consider subscribing if you're not already. Again, I hope you enjoyed. This has been Mushroom Man Toad setting off fireworks, and I'll see you in the next one.